Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to replace the hard drive in a late 2012 or newer 21 and a half inch iMac. For this installation, we'll be upgrading a 2012 model, but later models will be nearly identical. You should watch this video in its entirety before attempting this upgrade. The display on the iMac is held in place with an adhesive around the edges which you'll have to pry apart. This is an extremely tricky process which runs the risk of damaging the display, so professional installation is recommended. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the iMac, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. In the lower right corner, insert just the tip of a nylon pry tool between the display glass and the chassis. Run the pry tool up the side just enough to create a gap wide enough to insert the removal tool. Slowly work the removal tool along the edges of the iMac, taking care not to push the tool in too deep or pull out too far on the glass. This may take some time. The corners may be a little tricky, so you may need to go over them a couple of times. When near the camera, insert the removal tool only as far as the very edge of the EyeSight camera port so as not to damage the camera itself. Continue around the iMac until you reach the other side. You may now lay the iMac face up on your work surface and attach the suction cups to the upper corners. Do one last check to make sure you've loosened all the adhesive around the edges of the iMac. Then lift up on the glass using the suction cups. Inside near the top, you'll need to detach two cables. For the first, simply slide it out of its socket by its tabs. For the second cable, first lift up on this plastic tab to unlock the connection. Then slide the connector out. You can then angle the display the rest of the way up, remove it, and set it aside. The hard drive is located here. To remove the hard drive, we first need to remove these retainers. The retainer near the speaker has two screws that are the same size. The retainer next to the fan has two different size screws. You can then lift the drive out of the bay, detach the SATA cables from the drive, and remove it from the iMac. We'll need to transfer the rubber sleeve from the original drive to the new one. Simply peel the sides of the sleeve away from the drive, and slide the end caps off. Then, insert the new drive into one of the end caps, and slide the other cap over the opposite end. Gently squeeze the sides to attach them to the new drive. There should be enough residual adhesive left to allow them to stick. The new drive is now ready to be installed in the iMac. Attach the SATA cables to the new drive, then set the drive itself into the bay. Place the drive retainer with the even edges into place and secure it with the two medium-sized screws. Then do the same with the other side. The side over the power board takes the long screw and the smallest screw goes in the remaining hole. Now 
Now it's time to replace the adhesive that holds the display to the iMac. First, peel up any of the original adhesive remaining on the iMac. Then do the same on the display itself. Along the top edge though, you'll want to start in the middle of each side so that you don't accidentally peel off the sealing tape on the display itself. Starting from the bottom corners, you can now attach the adhesive strips around the side edges of the iMac, replacing the pieces you just peeled off. Along the top edge, start near the EyeSight camera but not covering it, then work outward. You may need to trim the tape in the corners a little bit. Do not put any tape along the bottom edge. Once all the pieces of tape have been placed, you can remove the paper backing and set the display along the bottom edge. But don't close it yet. We need to reconnect the video cables. Reattach the lower cable by sliding the connector into its socket and locking it into place with the handle. Then, simply slide the last connector into its socket. You can now carefully lower the display into place, making sure you have the edges lined up correctly. Gently squeeze along the edges to make sure the adhesive sticks. You may want to use a microfiber cloth to avoid any extra fingerprints. You can then detach the suction cups and set your iMac upright. Clean any remaining marks off your iMac, and you're ready to plug it in, hook it up, and turn it on.